Good morning, Calvary. Today we continue our discussion on how we can give grace to others with a focus on forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is a big topic. It would be impossible to cover it all in the few minutes that we have together. So let's just look at one aspect of forgiveness. In Colossians 3.13, Paul writes, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. The forgiveness that we extend to others should mirror the forgiveness that we've received from Christ. And in this, we see the reality that forgiveness always costs the giver. The one who gives forgiveness has a much harder job than the one who receives forgiveness. Think about how Jesus has forgiven you. You simply come to your senses, you repent of your sin, and you ask for forgiveness, and Jesus grants it. Jesus does all of the work. He died on the cross as the penalty for sin. According to Psalms, he removes our sin as far as the east is from the west. Jeremiah says that God will remember our sins no more. Acts says that he blots out our sins. And Micah says that God casts our sins into the depths of the sea. So, how does Jesus accomplish the complete removal of our sin from us? Since God is all-knowing, it's hard to imagine Him forgetting our sin. One commentator has suggested that God chooses not to remember our sin. He chooses not to remember our sin. His mind and memory are perfect. So when He forgives us, He chooses not to remember our transgressions any longer. You might wonder, how do we extend that kind of forgiveness to others? Forgive and forget? But that isn't very easy. Sometimes we've been hurt beyond our ability to truly forget. And no matter how much we might want to forget a wrong done to us, our brains might not let us forget it. So how can we forgive like Jesus? Peacemaker Ministries suggests that we do it by making four promises of forgiveness. And I'm gonna talk about each one of them. Number one, the first promise, I will not dwell on this incident. This is a commitment not to let your mind rehash the wrong that was done to you. If you've forgiven someone and then the hurt pops up in your mind again, you must consciously say, that matter is done with. I'm going to think about the fact that I've forgiven that person. I'm going to think about how much Jesus has forgiven me. The second promise, I will not bring this incident up and use it against you. Now, you guys know what that means. Wives, you don't need to remind your husbands about the last time they blew it. Husbands, you don't need to bring up the last infraction in order to win an argument. When you forgive, you promise that this isn't going to be brought up again in order to win or to cause harm. Number three, I will not talk to others about this incident. This is a promise not to gossip. When we forgive, we aren't spreading this around to others. Of course, there are some situations that require getting good counsel, and there are some situations that require the involvement of law enforcement and steps for future protection. But you can still forgive and talk to others about this type of damaging sin. The promise is that you won't drag down or slander the other person that you've forgiven. And the fourth promise that you make when you forgive somebody you say, I will not allow this incident to stand between us or hinder our personal relationship. This is a promise that you will seek to mend the relationship. Things may never go back to the way they were before. This is especially true in an issue of abuse or when there's personal safety at risk. But in most situations, you will seek to repair that relationship when you forgive somebody. Now, those are great big promises. And you can see that forgiveness truly does cost the one who is forgiving. It's sometimes a gigantic price, but Jesus paid the ultimate price for us. With God's help, we must be ready to extend that forgiveness to others. If you want to dig deeper on this subject, I recommend the study Resolving Everyday Conflict. It is available on Right Now Media. And I pray that God will work in you and your relationship so that you can model this type of Christ-like forgiveness. Have a blessed day.